How's it going, everyone? Matt Vanacoro here from Ask Audio, and I am checking out UVI World Suite, another awesome instrument sample collection from UVI. Uh, hot on the heels of Synth Anthology 2. I really dug that one, so I had high expectation for World Suite, and I'm really excited to report that they were definitely met. One of the first things I like about World Suite is that you got a couple of ways to browse the same samples, patches, and loops. You can browse by region, by type. Um, so if you want to browse by a certain area and you want to see instruments from that specific area, or if you're looking for just a generic ethnic sounding keyboard or ethnic sounding percussion instrument, you can find it. So I'm going to go in and load up the keyboard. Let's uh, take a look at the this one right here. We'll look at a table piano. And first thing you'll notice, they, they load up really fast. This is a lean and mean machine. I really like UVI instruments. They load up quick. They don't kill your processor. So I've got this cool table piano sound. So I got this sound menu here where I can manipulate the sound really quickly. Just take some of those key clicks out. And I can also just adjust the timbre of the sound right here and get a really smooth transition between the various sample sets of that sound. So this isn't just an EQ. I mean, you'll hear different attack characteristics, muted. So I really dig that. Um, it's a nice, beautiful aesthetic that they've got, and I do like that it's not too cluttered. Hopefully, maybe that's why it, it runs so efficiently. It's a lot of really solid, easy-to-control knobs and sliders. I'm going to load up a woodwind sound just to jump around a little bit here. Let's go for some Celtic stuff, some of the Celtic whistles. So I'll go for velocity-based triggering here. And I've got this penny whistle sustain. And what I love about it is that I've got the key switches here in the left hand. The key switches can actually switch between articulations pretty quickly. So I can just do add some rolls in there. The cool thing is that you can actually switch between different sample sets, not just between articulations. So I've got multiple penny whistles here. I've got a penny whistle, but I've also got these low Celtic whistles. So it's not just different articulations of the same whistle. It's actually just switching to a completely separate sample set. Now you notice the timbre menu's gone because I don't really need to switch between, there's no like mutes and stuff on this, but what is up there is a legato area, polyphonic area, and pornamento that you can actually trigger with a pedal. So I can play a little bit. Do the same thing if I hold down the sustain pedal. And I get that cool trill. Really amazing, and I like that you don't have to key switch for that. You could be key switching, switching between flutes in the left hand and changing articulations with the pedal. So it really, this whole instrument feels like a performing keyboard has programmed it because it's got a lot of things that just make sense and make it easy to play and perform with. So I'm really digging that. Load up a percussion sound here. Let's check out a percussion patch. So for percussion, I'll go to Latin percussions. And again, kind of going with that paradigm of keyboardist and uh, keyboard producing performer, you can load up a couple of different key switches and just play the same region of the keyboard. So if I use this couple, I don't know, this three or four note sequence. I don't have to hunt around and find out where the other instruments are and go like, oh, up here, down here, like this whole area is conga. Then I do a different key switch and it switches to timbales. So that would be cool if I'm doing like a percussion groove. So if I'm laying down a percussion track, I can actually seamlessly switch between the various percussion instruments as if I was the live performing percussionist. So you'll see there as well, we've got this doubling menu now instead of the timbre menu. It's, it's really, really cool. So I'm going to jump 
ahead to one more thing. Now, of course, in addition to all of the instruments that you got in World Suite, you've got a whole bunch of loops. So I can open it up and go, instead of by region or type, check out the loops and phrases. So let's open up some Middle Eastern loops, maybe some Darbuka. And I don't, let's turn off autoplay right now so that we're not jumping around. I'm just going to grab one and I'll hit OK. Now if I play the note, And of course, if I, I've got, you know, guitarish type loops, all those keyboardists, those woodwind loops. So all of these ethnic instruments, there's just so many loops in there too that you can trigger with a note or you can have it automatically come up and start when your sequence starts because using Falcon or UVI workstation will allow you to do that. So it's really flexible the way that you can use the loops and the pitch shifting algorithm, the pitch and time stretching algorithm is very high quality. So you'll get some great sound that way. All in all, I really like this instrument. Again, it's lean and mean, it's super reliable, and the sounds are really fantastic. So two thumbs up for sure on World Suite from UVI.